Hey guys, in this video I will be showing you guys pretty much how to correct skin tone. So this is the clip before and this is the clip after. I will show you guys how you figure out what exactly you need to do and how to do it. So now I'm just going to go over some little things. So this is the first one. This is before, after. Okay, this is the second one before, after. There is not a big difference in some of these again here not much of a difference and then here we get to the last one which before after there is a little pretty big difference and this difference comes from the fact that my face is very similar colored in this shot to the wall and to some of these cabinet stuff so pretty much and the chair so you're probably looking at it and you're saying, well, that's incorrect. But what happened was the saturation might not be, but the hue is. That's what we're going to be touching on today. So this is just a reminder that you need to be careful sometimes with these skin tones. Okay, so now we are going to go to the color tab and we're going to go here, clip. So we're going to start with the first one. Okay, so... In this first one, what we're going to be doing is pretty much taking from here to here. Okay, so I'm going to show you how I did it. So first of all, here we got this guy and then in this guy, I didn't really do anything. But here what we did was um, ha we did this thing in hue vs hue. You get for it, you go to here and then you press that guy, hue vs hue. So... The way you get to this is by looking at your vector scope. So what we're going to want to do, this is for no reason here. Let's just actually add that back. We'll turn this guy off. Okay, so this is, remember, after. Okay, so now we're starting from before. And it doesn't really look like there is a problem. His skin looks pretty much normal. But what we need to remember is that each screen looks at this differently. So we're going to try to get it the most correct. So what we're going to be doing is going like that. And the way, if you don't have this, you need to press here a right click. And it's going to have here, um, sorry, it's going to have here alpha output. So it's just going to be add alpha output. So, sorry, here. So add alpha output. So this is how it's going to be. I'm going to press on that. And then you're just going to drag it to here. Now in here, what you're going to want to do is to open up your vector scope. The way to do that is to go to here. And then um, you're just going to have vector scope. And I advise you to just do here show times two. Bring this brightness up. If you want, you can bring that guy a bit down, up, do whatever you want. And then I like to have it on colorize, and you need to have this on sh show skin tone indicator. Okay, so now that we got that, we see not everything's on the skin tone because we're looking at the whole image. So what we're going to want to do is just look here at his face, or more at his skin. So I'm just scrolling in here with the scroll wheel, and what we can do is much get just his skin which is great so now we can see his skin is totally off it is at the yellow so much more than to the red we want it to be right here on this line okay so what we're going to be doing is going into here then hue is hue like this and pressing here with a left click okay so we can press a couple times if there's you know different variants whatever and you're just going to want to bring this guy up back to here. But you see, if we bring the bottom, the stem to here, the rest of it, the main part of it, is going to be over there. So what we're going to want to do is, first of all, double press over there. And we're going to want to sort of get it in the right spot. So we can look, and there's a lot over there, as we see. So we can try to maybe move that. It's going to move the main thing. Now what we can also do is add more dots to get a bit more of a perfect kind of harmony point over there. So we also need to see though 
what parts are getting way too much and what parts aren't. So let's double tap there. And we're just gonna try to, you know, get it right over there. Okay, and we don't want it to be too much, but yet not too little. And we can already see, um, if we press here on that number, before and after, um, you can't really see much, but pretty much, no, it's changing. So, what we're going to want to make sure though is that we're not going way too red. And, yeah, something like that. We don't really want to pass the line, as it looks way too red. But moving a bit to there, looks pretty good. So now what we're going to do is just go like this, and then we do that, and we can pull that guy out. And then what we're going to be seeing here, if we go like this, before, after. And this is pretty much the right way that this skin should look. Now if you want later, you can pick an artistic choice and you can make it look different. But it's very good to start with correct skin tones. Okay, so that's just one of the first takes on it. So what we're going to be seeing here is gonna go on to the next clip so here what we did is we pretty much just had this one just in case if you want to do stuff but this is a node that we worked on so we plug it in here and then we make this guy for his face and over here what we do is we just look the vector scope and we put it so if um here so if I'll redo that it was just a bit too red for me over there. So what I did is I just brought it a bit back. Okay, and that's the that's the skin color that's on. The rest there is maybe his hair or his glasses. Okay, so the best is to try to get only his skin. Okay, and then you can see here there is a tiny, tiny difference. It is a bit more pink when we um, do it, I think. Not sure, but you can see on the scopes over here that there is a difference. It is changing. Okay. Then here it was pretty much the same, the same thing. You know, before and after, same thing. And then here, it's a bit problematic because we have a lot of stuff at the same hue. So we need to be very careful and cautious. That's pretty much it, so I hope you guys have enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and comment on what you guys want to see next. Bye.